UK Cambridge Centre podcast. In this Integrated Cancer Medicine Research and Focus series, I talk to various ICM members about their research and how it is supported by the vision of the Mark Foundation Institute for Integrated Cancer Medicine. MFICM research uses cutting-edge analytics to maximise the use of diverse high-volume data sets and by capturing cancer heterogeneity in time and space in patients receiving active treatment. Integrated Cancer Medicine aims to transform the way the world treats cancer by affecting patients along their treatment pathway and ultimately accelerate cures. Welcome to part three of this podcast series about research into integrated cancer medicine and the groundbreaking techniques that are being brought together to tailor treatment for each individual cancer patient. My name is Ellie Walmark and I am Communications Manager for the Mark Foundation Institute for Integrated Cancer Medicine at the University of Cambridge and the CRUK Cambridge Centre. In this third part of the series, the net continues to be spread a little wider to include conversations about biosampling, the IMAX T project, the company cited, personalised radiotherapy and much, much more. As always, you will hear discussions about research and research collaborations, the techniques that are being developed and how they translate to the clinic to affect patient treatments and outcomes. A common thread running through ICM research is that of cutting-edge data integration techniques, how collating and assessing different data streams about a patient can contribute to giving a fuller picture of their profile as well as the profile of the specific cancer type that they have. The power in integrating data from different perspectives, clinical, genetic, imaging, digital pathology, and even circulating tumour DNA in the blood for a patient, gives a greater opportunity to assess treatment or predict outcomes, to stratify patients into different treatments which may be more effective for them, potentially accelerate cure and delay or even prevent relapse. This new paradigm in tailoring treatment according to many variables for each patient is potentially game-changing in the treatment of cancer. In the first episode of part three, Robert Rintoul, Professor of Thoracic Oncology at the University of Cambridge and Honorary Consultant Respiratory Physician at Royal Papworth Hospital, discusses biosampling in conversation with myself and Lauren Wallace, who is Translational Research Manager for the Urological Malignancies Programme at the CRUK Cambridge Centre. We discuss the importance of taking samples, how they are taken, how researchers access them, how the pandemic brought challenges and opportunities, as well as how sampling relates to personalised care and how the research can potentially impact patients. It's a really animated discussion with two people who clearly share a real passion for the topic and the impact it can have. In later episodes, I chat to Daria Bresson, head of the IMAX T laboratory at the CRUK Cambridge Institute, about the IMAX T project and how virtual reality became a part of cancer research. Also about the involvement of the Department of Astronomy to deal with the huge amounts of data in this multidisciplinary project. It's an amazing insight into the complexities of the project and includes mention of the subsequent collaborations to come out of the project, how the project can generate knowledge, markers and ideas that can convert into personalising patient treatment and ideas for the future of the project. Dr Marcel Guerin talks to me about the company Cited and how it was born out of research and collaboration with colleagues at the CRUK Cambridge Centre, the Early Cancer Institute and the Cambridge University Hospital's NHS Foundation Trust. Professor Florian Markovitz highlights his work and recent publication on chromosomal instability, and Professor Charlotte Coles tells me about her work in the personalisation of radiation techniques to give patients the best chance of cure with the least side effects. More episodes will follow to complete the series. I do hope you enjoy it. If you would like further information on the ICM, please visit our website, www.integratedcancermedicine.org, where you can find details of the ICM vision all the current research, clinical trials, resources, publications and team information. You can keep up to date with our latest news and events and you can also sign up for our newsletter. If you would like more information about the work of the CRUK Cambridge Centre, please go to www.crukcambridgecentre.org.uk or you can connect with us on Twitter using our handle at CRUK Cam Centre. Thanks for listening.